How's your Indian Blast is doing? Here is mine. $440,000 at this stage. From 36 invested initially. I might be actually taking my initials out once it would be at 50 or 60 million market cap, but right now I'm just still waiting. Bob is doing quite well as well. Other things are moving nicely. Snib is picking up. We are definitely in a very, very interesting cycle. We are definitely in a very, very interesting scenario. And the main thing I actually want to talk about today is the first fact that if you were a subscriber of my private community for 49 bucks a month, you had an option to make 17 access at this stage. And it's not that some Solana garbage without a liquidity where no one can take profits on, where if some early buyer is actually selling, he's just dumping the whole chart to zero because it has a 150 million market cap with $200,000 of liquidity, right? I'm not talking to you about some Solana garbage, right? This is a proper blue chip meme token that I think we're just seeing. We're just basically proving that this is the winner. Imagine what will be happening with this thing moving forward. There are so many people who are still sidelined. There are so many people who still view meme coins as a gamble. They don't understand them. They talk some random stuff. They're not buying them. I want to talk to you about different IQs on the marketplace, about the concept of knowing your customer on the marketplace as well. Here is something very, very interesting as well. Here is my message on 14th of January 2024. Bob at that stage was like, what, 2 million market cap? No one cared. And right now, everyone is charting Bob. Everyone is saying how well it's actually connected to Pepem, how well it correlates to all these things, right? Who was telling you this three months ago, four months ago? Right, this was me. Guys, I have a feeling I should buy 70k of Boba and go play World of Warcraft for the whole year and outperform the shit out of everyone. So many people are bullish on Pepe in so many different communities and narrative is crazy with Pepe, Boba and Pepeverse, etc. Unfortunately, I did not put $70,000 into Boba at this stage. I still have some. But just this message, just this piece of the thought process, very, very fascinating, I would say. The same way winning coins showed themselves already during this cycle. Winning callers, winning people who are sharing good stuff have showed themselves already. Then it's up to you. You have all the cards. You have all the things you actually need to succeed in this market. And a lot of people are sending something like Stan give another call and things like that. And you're just publishing stuff about one meme and one project and things like that. And the response to that, I don't need to. Maybe I will be doing posts about Bobo and Andy till the end of this year. I, I won't need anything else. It's very, very fascinating that most of these people don't understand that they don't need another, another call. They don't need another risky scam because on all these waves of meme coins, you can't imagine how many scams will actually be published, how many scams will be launched because they know that everyone is looking for this new call, new thing to get in. But what you need to actually do is figure out how you can accumulate a position in a winning meme coin, how you can actually do that. Maybe you should just buy into it at these levels. Analyze, think through these things and act by yourself. Even with Doc we've had right now, I, th I think it's one of the best choices for conservative investors. You already saw it's a winner. It will still outperform each and every utility token in your portfolio. If it's going to 60 billion, right? It will have 15, 20 access from here, somewhere in that range, almost Guaranteed. You would be making like 10x on it, 100%. And you would still be looking for the next call. You would still be looking for things to waste your money on, right? So, so crazy. So, so interesting. And there are obviously other things that will be performing and outperforming WIF at this stage because, because WIF is so, so large already. But as mentioned in the previous videos, 90% of liquidity will eventually come to top tier blue chip meme coins. One of them is Boba. When you're investing, when you're buying anything with the idea to sell it to someone else later, right? You need to understand who you would be selling to. Who's your ideal customer profile? How does this person look? What this person actually likes to do? Do they know about crypto at this stage? What type of habits do they have? What type of job? What type of age? You need to vividly understand 
what's the portrait of people who would be buying these tokens from you? If it's hard, if it's complex to understand, if the amount of people that would actually be buying the tokens from you is quite low, maybe that's not the best bet to make because we will have so many things actually happening in this market. And even the things that I'm talking about, even me saying I won already with my meme coins. Pepe goes to zero. Most of my things, they will go to zero as well. It's a risky game and I'm still holding. And that's why holding blue chip meme tokens is actually highest return on investment this cycle. Just because of the fact it's still quite risky. It's still quite degen. Not to only buy them in the first place, not to put $20,000 in the picture of the bear and bear market, right? But also hold it through multiple... I know so many people that sold already. They sold or they don't have any tokens currently because they were afraid, they were scared, they thought it's enough, it's meme coin, it's nothing serious, things like that. There is no utility in any of the projects that you're looking into, any white papers, it's all vaporware. People are coming to this market to make money. To become rich and VCs are coming to this market because they can invest and sell the investment in a year from now in a couple of months from now in several months from now things that they would be in jail for if it won't be crypto right i can't fathom how important this picture is how important it is to understand what category you're actually connecting yourself to in different stages of the market what your beliefs are and who you are when playing these things as well. I think one of the things that people still don't understand is that currently we are in a transition from PvP environment to PvE environment. And PvE is not player versus enemy. PvE is player versus environment. I spent more than 20 years of my life playing games. I don't want outsiders who didn't spend this time to screw up with my terms, right? PV is player versus environment. And right now, what I think we are seeing is this transition at this stage. Because all your mid-curve projects with utility and things like that, when smart retail would be coming, like people who are sitting in NVIDIA stocks in AI currently, right? When this smart retail will be coming into the market, they will probably be looking to buy them from you. So your time should definitely come. But right now, it's very, very interesting. What do we have? We have a bit of degens like this, but not a lot of them, right? And we have these ultra Jedi guys who are very, very smart, who are actually positioning themselves in advance before this PVE environment actually comes. I was sitting with my Boba bag for six months, eight months, I was sitting through 70% deep. The only problem I have right now is that I didn't double down during 70% deep. The reason we see the search of the meme coins at this stage already is because these guys, smart guys, who went through multiple cycles already, they are eager to position themselves before this PVE start of the market, before this PVE environment will essentially start. Everything else with things like Solana pumping and different ecosystem pumping and one by one and things like that, we still kind of see just the transition of the funds because guys with Bitcoin, they're following the Bitcoin profits that are keeping them poor, right? And they're still sitting in, in Bitcoin because this herd of guys, this herd of sheep who are sitting with Bitcoin, they were not told yet by the profits who are keeping them poor that Right now is the time to switch to altcoins. Right time is to buy these altcoins from you. From guys who are sitting in your altcoins right here and not understanding things like why the meme coins are surging and things like that. Bobo is definitely a PVE environment token. And I was sitting in the deeps. It was, it was hard. It, was, it would probably be even harder if I won't be a psychopath, right? And I was sitting this PvP type of game essentially being played from one narrative into a different narrative into a different narrative. And if you've seen that, if you were here in October, November, we had Bitcoin, we had Chainlink then, we had Solana, we had IMAX and gaming, we had then AI, we had 
um, Sui ecosystem and Sui token by itself and all the things that were pumping Y by one because people were just basically shifting and rotating profits. But at that time, the total market cap of the whole crypto market was staying the same, which basically means that funds, they were just rotated from one thing to another. And right now, I think we already doubled the market cap of crypto market from that time. And I would say that most of this value is still in Bitcoin at this stage. These JD guys, they do understand that most of the money will be made in PV type of environment as well. When this guy will come and this and when this guy would essentially buy my picture of the bear from me, right? And they are positioning themselves in advance. And what I've done, I just positioned myself way, way, way early in advance. And I was sitting through very, very hard dips. And unfortunately, I didn't accumulate enough from the things that I wanted. Here is one of the channels of YouTube with retail type of subscribers, right? Just re regular people who are following some guy that they trust. They probably don't have much time for crypto. They're following. They're kind of, they're kind of this part, right? This part. So they think they know something. They think that someone will be buying their utility projects from them. But it will only happen in one smart retail would essentially be coming into the market because dumb retail is not looking to buy their AI revolutionizing layer three uh, garbage utility tokens, right? Are you buying meme coins? 57% are saying nope. And I would say that, yep, this 43%, maybe they bought a bit. Like the main reason of me showing this is because the consensus is not there yet. This thing is still being viewed as gambling. This thing is still being viewed as something like not serious and things like that. And the reason I'm telling you that is because you need to understand what type of potential this thing have with all these people eventually capitulating at the end. Understanding that they wasted a large chunk of the bull market. They were sitting in all the coins with all this utility, without proper marketing, right? Because you, you need, you, you actually, if you're sitting in utility tokens, you need VCs, you need people who are interested in making money from the token. Because if you are sitting in them this way, you would at least be able to have to make some money along with VCs, because you probably won't need to liquidate the same amount of funds that VCs would essentially have. And a lot of these people, especially the guys who are sitting in the tokens of the previous cycles and things like that, things like XRP and a lot of others actually, you probably have some of them in your portfolio as well, right? They would eventually be capitulating to the market, to the meme coins, and they would probably participate in the same many of meme coins with these dumber guys at the end of the cycle, which would probably make which would probably make more money in crypto than uh, the guys that are in the middle because they would be waiting for some time. They will be entering meme coins by that time. Meme coins will allow them to make some money because this is how proper traps usually work, right? And then they will liquidate them. They will take the money. They will just go down or they will be selling on the deep, not understanding the narrative, not understanding things that are happening. All these people who were buying Boba from crypto banter shows uh, and essentially retail type of people leading them into buying Boba, right? They pumped it to 120 million market cap. And then we went down to, to like what, 40, right? A lot of people sold. And right now we're at 140. So everyone who bought at that time, he would be in profit at this stage, right? Not all of them. I would say most of them did not buy back. Did not buy back. And at the same time, what's interesting if that is that if they would just keep their position that they bought at a hundred twenty million market cap at the top, if they, if they would just hold it long term, they would still make a bunch of money. They would still outperform. But no, they will be selling. They will be buying. They would end up throwing the money into some Solana scam and just getting freed of the money, right? Do I actually need to have this channel? Do I need to upload these videos daily? I'm not sure. Well, as mentioned, I think highest ROI activity is trading live pairs this cycle. Or if you're technical, or you will just be able to figure this out, just uh, create the ecosystem of sniping bots that would be able to buy new Solana pairs or pairs on different chains very, very early.
crazy money are being made. They are literally just money printers. I would say these two activities, they will be making the most money in this cycle. And we still have a bunch of time. Anyone can learn how to trade live prayers. Maybe I would just close this channel and do it myself. It's very, very interesting. Well, I don't have much to say. Happy Easter. Thank you very much for watching this video. We had a great Andy call. We had a great Boba call. All the memes from this ecosystem, they should be doing well. All those some are definitely weaker than the others. But eventually, eventually psychology will play out because people will see numbers. They would want to jump into the next thing, into the next thing. And this ecosystem, original Pepeverse meme coins, Bobo, Momo, Snibo and Dodo, plus four characters of original artist of Pepe, Pepe Bread, Andy and Wolf, they all should be doing well. That's for sure. Because the logic is there, because people would always feel that they missed out and they would, they would always want to buy into something they didn't pump yet. Therefore, they would be pumping the whole thing. One of the things that I was talking to you about, I think is happening behind the curtains right now as well. The fact that liquidity from Pepe is actually coming into Bobo. And I would say this ratio is decreasing and decreasing and, and it will keep decreasing over time. It's very, very interesting that Bobo should be coming up and growing in the times that Pepe is surging and in the times where Pepe is correcting as well. Because these profits from Pepe, they should be coming into Bobo, decreasing the correlation, decreasing the ratio, to be correct. I think Bobo market cap is ready at around 3 to 4% of Pepe market cap. And some very, very smart people, visionaries, they're saying that Bobo should be 40% of Pepe market cap, closer to the end of this cycle. So you don't even need the main token to grow. And the same correlation, each of these memes will be having with each other for all the cycle as well. Each meme in the chain, each token in the chain. Right guys, let's gamble. 233 members, very, very nice. Let's do some stuff, 233. I do believe it's a simple number. I don't think you can actually divide it by something. Moving forward, 78. 78, you can definitely divide by two. That should be 30, 39, right? 39 is a simple number. 78 right here very very nice and last but not least 184 that's 92 46 23 when i'm dividing i'm forgetting the original number right 148 second time we are congrats dude very very nice oops mistakes were made short easter video great holiday i wish you all the best if you're celebrating the holiday very, very nice family holiday as well. I wanted to add something about all the artists and all the social media industry and all the people that are being paid to get you distracted. They're being paid by the elites. And that's why they're making so much money because they're creating this image of lust for other people to pretty much be the same. At the same time, they, they are getting paid by the elites to distract the masses so elites can do what they want to do and masses can actually focus on something which is irrelevant like creating some music video being an influencer like entertainment entertainment is distracting the masses and elites they want to do it very very much i think elites are very very happy with the introduction of social media and the, and the reason I'm, I'm saying about this on Easter is because we definitely start to see the role of religion more and more. And if you know, in Soviet Union, religion was illegal. And I believe they've done this on purpose because to make people kill tens of millions of people, you cannot have any religion. You need to ban it in the first place. And then you can ask the guys to just shoot 20, 30, 40 millions of people, if not even more, in the head, with people just asking, for what? For what are you shooting me? Happy holiday.
I will see you tomorrow. Thank you.